Good morning and thank you for being with us. It is 630 on Wake Up Central today. If you didn't have a spring break, happy Friday Eve, everybody out there. We're getting closer to the weekend, but also tomorrow, probably closer to some rain chances. Yeah, too. and we'll have some today. They're not going to be as widespread as maybe we once thought. So that's some good news. I still think we dodge a couple of showers today, but yeah, you're right. Better chances tomorrow. Let's get a check of what's happening out there as you wake up this morning. Well, you'll find our temperatures pretty uh, similar to that of yesterday. Many of us right now in those upper 40s. Some folks hanging on to the low 50s out there. You'll want the jacket as you begin your Thursday. Not going to need it all day long, though. While we don't warm up as warm as yesterday, it will be comfortable later in the day. You'll notice most of Arkansas here is dry on radar. We do find a few spotty showers beginning to move into parts of southwestern Arkansas. Those pretty spotty, and that's what we can expect for today. You'll find a high temperature of 69 degrees. I'm going to call it partly sunny, but I think uh, we're going to see more clouds than anything else. That sunrise set for 710 this morning. We'll track today's rain chance. We'll track tomorrow's better chance of rain, plus a look at what the temperatures are going to be like this weekend. And then we'll even take a look ahead to a storm system. We're already tracking that moves into the area early next week. The latest on that in 16 minutes. Scott, thank you. We were following a developing story this morning on Wake Up Central. We want you to know we are working diligently to learn what exactly happened in a shootout between a former airport official and the ATF. Here is what we've been able to determine so far. Brian Malinowski, the now former executive director of the Clinton National Airport, was shot early Tuesday morning. Agents were serving a search warrant at his home on Durant's Court in West Little Rock. Malinowski and a federal agent were both hospitalized afterward. We are told the agent is suffering non life threatening injuries. We have asked the ATF for the warrant, but have still not heard back. In the meantime, we've asked both Little Rock and state police for any information or video of the incident. LRPD responded saying, quote, the information you're requesting is part of an open criminal investigation and cannot be released at this time. THV 11, of course, will continue to push for answers and bring you any updates as soon as we get them. Happening today, a big step forward in a push to make Little Rock safer. The Public Safety Commission created by Mayor Frank Scott Jr. will meet tonight for the first time. And Wake Up Central's Journey Taylor is here with the purpose of the commission and what it hopes to accomplish. Good morning, Journey. Yeah, good morning, Karen. It's been about five months since the formation of the Public Safety Commission. The commission was formed with the goal of finding solutions for violent crime as part of Mayor Scott's crime reduction plan approved last October. Now, the goal is to bring outside voices to the table, including people who do live in the community. The commission will include a community member from each ward and six other at large members. There will also be representatives from the city, including a board director, someone from the mayor's staff, police department and city attorney's office. Again, this is the first meeting for this commission and they will meet tonight at 6 p.m. at the Willie Hinton Neighborhood Resource Center that's on 12th Street and is open to the community. THV 11 will work to bring you details later tonight of the first meeting on air and online at THV 11.com. For now, I'm Journey Taylor for Wake Up Central. All right, be curious to find out what they see. Thank you, Journey. And now to a THV 11 update, expanding broadband internet access in the state. It's an ongoing issue that's recently making some headway. Wake Up Central's Michaela Johnson joins us now with more on how you can challenge the state's accuracy. Michaela, good morning. Good morning, Hayden. The lack of access to broadband is widespread in the state and something we here at THV 11 have covered for years. A new resource is officially live to help all Arkansans have access to broadband internet and the state broadband director says it's the most critical piece of this whole process. According to Glenn Howie, there's around 160,000 homes and businesses across Arkansas that to this day still lack internet service completely. Thanks to a new challenge process, Arkansans have a chance to help diagnose which areas are disconnected. And here's how it works, plus what's changed. The state broadband office released the new state broadband map. Before the update, access was shown by region. Now it's more detailed. Detailed. Homes, business and, and businesses are and more are now on the map. And how he says for the first time in state history, Arkansans have a voice in this infrastructure grant process. You can go to the map, find your location. Then if you think providers are reporting inaccurate broadband internet access details, you get to challenge it. There is no single greater instrument to um, 
economic security and personal freedom than a high-speed internet connection. So this impacts everything that we do from economic development, workforce development, quality of life, um, and we hope to be a leading state in this process. Now, red, blue, green, or gray. These are the colors you're looking for when on the map. And here's what each of those mean. Red and blue, unserved or underserved. These will get funding. Green, you've already been awarded a grant. And gray currently has good internet access. And that's why it's so important to check your location so you can check for accuracy. The natural state is receiving a cut of more than a billion dollars through President Biden's infrastructure package to fund this broadband expansion. McKaylin Johnson for Wake Up Central. McKaylin, thank you. With kids on spring break this week, we want to take a moment to remind everyone that if you know of any children in need of a meal, cows and Be Mighty Little Rock have you covered. Spring break meals for families are available all week at cows locations all over central Arkansas. Times for meal services do vary, so you want to check your local library location. And one other note, not all branches are taking part. Spring break meals are not available at Fletcher, Maumel, and Williams locations. It is 637 on this Thursday morning. The NCAA tournament tips off today right here on THE 11. Unfortunately, the Razorbacks did not make the tournament, and this morning fan favorite Debo Davis is looking for a new team. The Jacksonville native put out a statement on social media saying that he is entering the transfer portal and exploring his professional options. Now he does have one last year of eligibility thanks to the NCAA's COVID-19 rules back in 2020. Now Davis becomes the fourth Razor back to enter the portal since it opened on Monday. Let's send it over to Scott. Now that one thing we need to know about the weather today. Yeah, it's going to be comfortable out there. Uh, temperatures not as warm as yesterday. However, upper 60s for most of us, there's going to be a slight chance of rain. Uh, chances come down, but it's not zero, right? We'll take a look at what it is for today. Uh, increasing chances of rain overnight into tomorrow as well. Uh, your forecast coming right up. Also ahead, dozens of Pulaski County inmates left with no guards, all captured for a Netflix series. Was the experiment legal? We break it down and hear from officials in four minutes. Plus, we are feasting our eyes on the bold creations of smashed and stacked. Scott's taking us to a spot serving up burgers you will not find anywhere else on this week's Eat It Up. That's coming up at 648.